We were out to eat one time with me and my parents, and I, like I got about like 10,000 followers, and my dad's like, well, "Was that good?" <laughs> so the answer is yes, very good. But Jordan Minder reached 10,000 followers a while ago. Now she's well above 20,000. I, for some reason, I wanted to get a camera when I was 13, and I never really used it until I uh, got the Instagram app. I didn't even know it was like a social networking for sharing photos, so it was just like a, a photo filter app. What YouTube is to cat videos is what Instagram is to great photos. You can like, comment, and follow your favorite people to make sure you catch their new pics. That's pretty much all there is to it, but it's really fun and addicting. <laughs> I posted my first picture, and I didn't really think anything of it. I didn't even know it was like being posted anywhere. But, and then I got, I somehow got like a like on it. This username popped up, I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Like, so I went and I found out there were more user accounts. And then I just uh, finally started getting more and more. I started following more people. The more I posted, the more people started following me. The majority are people I don't even know. <laughs> so there's only a handful of people that like, I probably actually know in real life. I think it's kind of interesting that way because like, it's literally people from all over the world and you get to see like their view and like their pictures. And like some people may just like have it just for fun, but like others like take it seriously. And now Jordan is one of the serious ones. Once I started consuming my time more, I'm like, I'm not gonna take this as just a hobby. <laughs> Cause like for one, I'm good at it. And two, it's like, it's, I, well, I don't even know what else I'd want to do. Uh, I don't know what else I'm really good at. I don't like uh, putting like stereotypes on that kind of thing. like. She's the real like surreal photographer. She's the real like portraity photographer. I like kind of want to have like it all. I don't really want to have like a set name on everything I do because I don't want to be limited to everything. But one of my friends I was talking to, she's like, <laughs> she was uh, just talking with everybody. We're like, we, we, we came up with a term. It's called the Jordan Minder. Like doing the Jordan Minder. <laughs> like basically, you got to take a good picture. You got to have a good subject. You got to put the perfect filter on it. <laughs> Other common Jordan Minder elements are shots of just hands or just legs. Sometimes it's because I don't like the other part of the picture, and like, but um, for the legs part, I usually get my legs because I got psoriasis, and it's just kind of like a fun. It's kind of like eczema. It's not fun to have, but like I like taking pictures of it just to get myself warmed up to the idea of me having it, and like. So, you know, I like making things look better. I mean, not like totally like erasing like what's actually there, not to, like trying to cover it up, but just, just it, you know, just having it out there, making it look like it's not as bad as it actually looks. So like, I guess when I like focus on, on different features and stuff, that's kind of what I, what I go for. Usually I have an idea before I do something, but the, usually when I go out and I have an idea, it never ever ends up looking like what I had in mind. Sometimes it turns out better, sometimes it turns out worse, but I'm not very good with going out, like not having an idea. I'm not very good at like coming up with ideas on the spot. Well, sometimes I am, but most of the time I'm not. But yeah, usually I have a um, mental image in my mind, and then I'll call somebody up. Like it's usually Beth. Like <laughs> let's go take pictures, and I'll have idea, but like it'll turn out way different. But sometimes that's better. That's so probably my favorite part about it is like the bonds you get to make with people that you don't even have never met in real life. It's actually just a community of people like like um, positively critiquing each other and like if someone were to say something bad it's like you have all these people like saying like backing you up like as if they were your real friend in real life. It's kind of funny and weird and nice at the same time. I'm not as cool as I look. <laughs> I'm yeah that's it. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Like everyone on Instagram is like, I so want to be your friend. You look so cool. I, your life looks so awesome. Like, no, <laughs> not really. <laughs> but I guess that's what happens when you just look at images of people's life. But I think I kind of accomplished something because I made my life look good <laughs> through photographs.